So this is an experiment to see uh, if throttling the heat pad back to a 40% duty cycle gives a good temperature for sunflower seedlings. Uh, my goal with uh, the heat is to get a uh, standard uh, seed to harvest time of a, about nine days. That's my goal. And also I want to see them drop those holes. I don't want to be picking holes. So um, let's uh, do a reveal here. I've got this patio brick, sort of half size patio brick. And then I've got a tray. Uh, the insulation, Reflectix insulation, is, is really just to protect the tray. And then I've got a, another Reflectix insulation. And, uh, oh, I'm in, let me get better light here. So, uh, Looking pretty good. I think it might be a little bit too hot at 40%, but uh, let's take a look. Yeah, I would say this is uh, slightly too high. Um, however, uh, one good thing is most of the holes are already gone. Uh, this is after four days of stacking. But you can see there are so many that have no hulls on them. The hulls were shed during the germination and stacking process. I'm uh, pretty happy to see that. That uh, confirms the first hypothesis is that warm uh, germination gets rid of hulls. So um, I'm going to continue and I'm going to uh, seed another tray and I'm going to try it uh, probably at 20% duty cycle and we'll see if that works as well. It is October 25. These seedlings are eight days old. Uh, I think it's clear that the, the uh, high heat of 40% duty cycle damaged these, uh, some of the uh, seedlings, but these are pretty close to being ready to um, harvest. Uh, generally one more day, a nine day harvest would be um, what I'm looking for. But more importantly, today we're going to reveal the 20% uh, duty cycle. They are ready to be unstacked. Mm, looking pretty good. I would say generally good germination. Don't have too many complaints about this one. A lot of them are without hulls, but um, we'll see what happens uh, through the rest of the growth cycle. Next up is to try 30%. It is the 29th today. These are one day away from harvest. And I wanted to take a look at hulls. There are a few hulls, but um, not many. I would be quite happy to with this amount of hulls, although, uh, you know, no hulls are always better. And we have um, we have our 30% duty cycle ready to be opened up. All right. 
So this one, I'd say it looks pretty good. Um, I, uh, I think that uh, this is probably the preferred temperature here at 30%. Okay, I'm going to check the temperature here. 89 degrees. Um, 89 degrees with this thermometer. The underside of the heat pad is insulated, and then I just laid that uh, blanket of Reflectix bubble wrap uh, on top, and we are running at 89 degrees. So, unfortunately, I am not going to be able, I'm sorry, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to uh, finish this grow out, leaving town, and these things need to be uh, watered every day. Um, I think that this is a very good result. Um, if anything, it might be slightly high. That was the 20%, and if I go back to my uh, cheat sheet, 20% ran at 84 degrees, 30%, I just checked, ran at 89, and 40% ran at 93. 40% was too high. Uh, I suspect that somewhere between 20 and 30% is ideal. So that is uh, my result. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to shut it down before we get to see if these are uh, ready to harvest in nine days and uh, if most of the hulls are dropped. But um, my recommendation for more uh, regular, predictable days to harvest for sunflowers and for dropping hulls is uh, give it some warmth. Probably between 85 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal.